I'm Danielle Muir from the British Dragonfly Society and I am here today to run a pond doctor session. So what I'm going to be doing is looking at the various water bodies that are found close to my home here in central Perthshire and I'll be looking at any problems that they may have encountered and looking at ways to combat those problems. The first problem we're going to look at is um, blanket weed and blanket weed is a kind of algae and it's probably one of the commonest problems that people with ponds encounter. How to deal with blanket weed. Now blanket weed is a type of algae that, that flourishes in freshwater um, ponds especially where there's a high nutrient load and it can very quickly take up pretty much all of your pond and it uses up quite a lot of the oxygen in the pond so it's not very good for the wildlife in there though uh, tadpoles will feed on algae so we're going to have a look in this pond which was put in last summer and it's pretty much filled up with algae straight away and not very much was done with it so we're going to have a quick look here to see if there's still algae in here and we'll look at the best way to remove it which is essentially using a bamboo cane Put it in the water where your blanket weed is and basically just twist and it will pick up quite a lot of blanket weed and this is something you're going to have to keep on top of and do again and again. Now I don't have any blanket weed being picked up here but I do have some duckweed being picked up here and we'll, we'll look at duckweed again in just a few minutes. I'll just put some duckweed in the tray there and we can have a quick look at that as well. Now once you take your blanket weed out, I would recommend putting it on a, a tarpaulin or in a tray like this and uh, giving it a good rinse because there will be quite a lot of wildlife including could well be some, some damselfly larvae in there, um, caddis, caddis larvae possibly, um, tadpoles too. Just give it a good rinse to make sure that there's nothing, nothing trapped. Another good idea to keep blanket weed at bay is to put in some barley straw. And barley straw contains a, a chemical which manages to keep the, the blanket weed at bay. So I have here in my water, my rainwater harvesting bath, um, which has somehow turned into quite a good wildlife habitat. Um, I have a bag of, it has to be barley straw rather than hay. And I've put it in just this plastic mesh, which works quite well. Or you could put it in some old tights, and uh, it does seem to do the job. And it doesn't involve using using any chemicals, so that's well worth trying. 